All right, I'm back in the garage and I'm gonna see what these pine needles look like. Um, it's been several hours. So let's open the, I'm gonna turn away so the steam doesn't get us. And let's see what these look like. Hmm, all right. Okay, they seem to be getting a nice deep color. Can you see this? The dye has not taken very well. Um, I think the dye had been pretty much spent, but it does seem as though the glycerin is uh, definitely soaking in and improving um, improving the, these needles. They were kind of ugly needles. They were uh, just not the prettiest. So um, I think probably what I'm going to do is go ahead and they look pretty good. I'm just going to cut it off and let them sit for a while at least until the uh, the mixture cools off. One of the things I also wanted to show you, let me come over here and grab a couple of these pine, big pine needle bunches. Um, if you see here, these two bunches of needles, uh, these long ones are the beautiful Florida needles that all of you folks that live down there I'm so envious of. Uh, these are 18 inches long. These are some of the needles that you see more in Carolina and a few up here in Virginia. And they're about 16 inches long. So if you get this 22 inch Hamilton Beach um, roaster, if you notice the um, the nice, beautiful Florida needles that are 18 inches long are not going to fit in this thing except in a diagonal position, which means you can't get quite as many in there. Um, the, uh, the tub is only 17 inches wide, so these fit in very, very nicely, uh, as you can see. Now, one thing I did not really go over too much when I did the first part of the video is how much glycerin to use um, for your mat for your mixture. This is a quart container, and usually for about the amount of needles and um, water that I used in this batch, um, I would start off anywhere between two and four cups of glycerin. It's all going to depend on how moist or how greasy you want them. Um, I usually do a little less, probably more in the neighborhood of two cups, two to three cups. Um, and that's just a personal preference. You can try uh, as much as you want. But, um, you know, it's it's easy to add more glycerin. It's not as easy, easy to take it out. So I would just say try, uh, try less first and then add more if you're not getting the results that you want. So anyway, I think what I'm going to do now is um, let the glycerin cool off, and then I will rinse, 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 and then I will come over here and add them into my rack to dry. So there's your little glycerin tutorial for today.